Let's go out here and watch Derek run for a little bit on the new uh, LX830D. Driving a tractor, pelling a tree. You can see everywhere cars and top trees. Boys, flowers right here. These fall flowers show sure are pretty, boy. I mean, they come up. They're all the way down this old power line. It's a good place for a cotton mouth right here. We're getting on over here toward Derek now. You got a big one right there. He's unbaited it on the far side. Getting the top limbs out of it. at that time. See what he did, he's got a little low spot right there. He took that top and laid in that low spot to get on top of it. You can hear that fan running on the back of it back there. somebody the other day talking about uh, we're going to have to make sure we kept that thing blowed off because of the debris sticking on the back of it because the fans on the on the back of it back there and uh, all these machines have auto reversing fans and uh, what it does is is it runs forward normal for several minutes and then it automatically the fan reverses and when it reverses, it the air goes opposite. So anything that's stuck to it, it automatically blows it off. You don't even have to you don't have to mess with it. And all these machines that's been built in the last eight to ten years have that on them like that. Most all of them do. That's a tall tree right there. Gone. so let me run this get this clear too all right so we got this machine last sunday after the logging show dad picked it up and brought it in here and delivered it so Derek ran it we ran monday and tuesday that's the only two days last week that we ran was monday and tuesday tuesday afternoon about two o'clock we got a massive massive rain here and we were rained out Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, uh oh, they got it. We didn't, uh, we didn't work any. So Derek's only ran that machine two days, and that's it. Uh, so today is day number three of that machine running. I'm gonna say somebody asked about the hours on it. It's probably got. 
it's probably got 16 hours, 16, 17 hours on it now. I guess. It'll take Derek about a week or so to get everything tweaked out on the machine and to just get the feel of it compared to his other machine. We do, right now, we, we traded our other 830 off. It's still here on the job. They hadn't picked it up yet. But we traded it off. Traded in. I got asked, uh, why did we get a cutter when it had the least, next to the least amount of hours on it? It's the second newest machine that we had was a, was a tree cutter compared to like uh, Kevin's machine and, and my machine that's 10 years old now. Uh, the reason why is is because that cutter is what makes or breaks us right there. That is the, the cutter is the start of the entire operation is the tree cutter. And, uh, and also the tree cutter had the most equity in it of any of our machines. It was the second newest, had the second least amount of hours on it at about 10,000 hours. And uh, so it made the, I know it's hard for people to understand, but from a business standpoint, it was the most logical decision for us to do from a, from a business standpoint. Uh, I got asked, when will me and Kevin get a machine or anything like that? I, I have no idea. I can't answer that. Uh, had two or three people smart off and say, well, we must be making a lot of money and all that stuff like that. And all. Uh, it takes money to make money in a, in a business like this. Uh, it's hard for, uh, it's really hard for people who are not in something like this, just buying machines of this magnitude or spending that kind of money to understand the uh, ins and outs of all of that stuff. Uh, that machine right there, a lot of people said, I bet that machine costs $250,000 or $300,000, uh, stuff like that. That machine right there was nearly $600,000 is what that machine costs. Kevin's machine, the processor now, a uh, new one of them is going to cost you nearly $700,000 is what something like that's going to cost you. These machines are not cheap. Uh, you take uh, farming and the tractors, you could buy quite a few tractors for what that machine, several tractors, depending on what you bought, for what that machine right there cost. If he hits that tree and knocks it over, y'all finna see me go running because it's going to come right at me. Real sandy right here where he's at. I gotta ask about warranty. Yes, the machines do have warranty when you buy them. They're like a like a vehicle or anything like that. That old sand is tough. They ain't sinking right there. He's finna go down if he ain't careful. Nah, right, he's good now. It takes a lot to make this stuff happen, what we do day to day. And remember, out here on the job, it's just me, Kevin, Derek, and Chad, and that's it. That is it. But since, uh, since 2008, we have paid for Kevin's processor. And when you finance these things, it's not like doing a house or anything. You, you only finance them for either three or four years, and that's it. Uh, the, we paid for Kevin's processor. Uh, we paid for my track loader. 
and we got the track cutter and we paid for that uh, the first one and then we got the 635 and, and we paid for that and uh, we still got our 726 we will never get rid of our 726 unless we replace it with another one because we run I need to take y'all around and show y'all all of our machines that we got. You only see what's right here most of the time. Sometimes I show you our other stuff where our 437 and our other 820, our 822 is and all that stuff. Some of the new viewers hadn't never seen that unless you dug back through some of my older videos. Look at the curve. They cut that one off up. It's got that bad spot on it right there. Our see all them leaves sticking on the back of it back there? Give it just a little bit and that fan will reverse and all that stuff will be gone. And what it does, when it does that, it keeps those coolers blowed out inside there because it's constantly pushing and pulling the air through it at different times. It just cycles back and forth like that. That's a big popper right there he's after now. He'll bait it and then cut these other trees right here while it's right here and then he'll get over there behind it and cut that one down. Actually, that is not a poplar. I just looked up at the top of it. The bark on it looks like a poplar from over here where I'm standing. That's, a, uh, that's an oak right there is what that is. He's going to go ahead and get it now while he's at it. Push it, man. It's gone. And it's gonna get the top out of it. He's gonna pick that whole tree up. Watch this. He didn't grab it right. They got it there.
about this. I did a video about it last year. Uh, Tiger Cat, last year in 2017, that was their uh, 25th year. So think about this. In 25 years, Tiger, 25 years, or I'm 26 now. Last year, 25 years ago, Tiger Cat wasn't even existing. It wasn't even, it was, it, it, hadn't even, it hadn't even been birthed yet. In 25 years, Tiger Cat has come to that right there and made a serious mark in the logging forestry equipment industry. And it just, my hat's off to Ken McDonald and all of his guys that he has up under him that he put in place to make Tiger Cat happen. And then to get it to where it is now, uh, one of the things, the two things that they really focused on early on, they knew that there was so much room for improvement on the track machine, the track cutters, the leveling cutters, the cutting rough ground. They knew that people were hungry for a machine that would work and it would hold up and would do well in it. So that's what they focused on. They focused on the track cutters. They also, and the main thing too right there at that first, when they first got going, was the rubber tire bunchers. You can't hardly beat them machines, I'm gonna tell you. A lot of people don't know, well, why do we, why do we trade that, that other one off, you know? Well, it just, it just made sense for us to to do that because there's a lot of those machines out there that are still running, that run. It's got a lot more hours on it than what ours did. But for us, everything, everything is different for everybody. For us, it made sense to go ahead and let that machine uh, go to trade it in because we did, uh, we did very good on our trade in on that machine and so it's just time for uh for something else i just wish that things would pick up on the logging end of things lumber i done got myself up in the jungle right here lumber is at an all-time high right now but there's a big gap for on the harvesting end of things for some reason and it's uh there's a lot of guys out there it's, it's to the point now to where this the small guys is hard to survive you it's just like farming you got to be big you got to be massive you got to do a lot to kind of stay stay where you need to be so I'm going to let y'all go for now. I'm going to head on up here to my loader. If you like my stuff, please subscribe to me. I'd appreciate it. I hope I answered a lot of questions. Uh, all this clickable stuff's right down below. Uh, my website, all that stuff like that. I appreciate all y'all viewing. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters!